Hey guys, welcome back to Beauty and the Budget and today we will be reviewing one of my favorite things, candles. Hello, place to smell good. Yeah. <laughs> so, of course you know that the Bath and Body semi-annual sale, that's the winter sale, is on and popping. So if it is that you're on the fence and you're wondering what some of the candles smell like, well, I'm going to do my best. I'm going to do my best. To tell you, all right, my accent sucks. <laughs> Let's face it, but I'm gonna do my best to tell you how uh, these four candles that I have in front of me, how them smell in my candle haul. The first of quite a few, because hello, sale, and we say budget around here. All right, so yeah, man, I got the three week candles, and I got them in Tis the Season. Bubbly Rosé, Vanilla Patchouli, and my favorite, my favorite, my favorite. But you have to get that one, okay? Guess my favorite candle in the comment below. Now, this one was recommended to me by a co-worker of mine, and she was raving about it. Oh my God, you have to try this. Tis the season, tis the season, tis the season. I generally stay away from holiday themed candles because I am not one for celebrating the holidays right so I just like my candles and my stuff classic and just you know without that themed look so it doesn't have that dated look on it but I got an extra order of this one for her so that's my story that's my story time anywho the long and short is my end up with one for myself okay there I got to the point <laughs> so this is the candle that we are reviewing this is the Tease the Season candle and of course, bro, you know I'm going to get it from the White Barn line because White Barn to me, the White Barn line um, of candles in the Bath and Body products, I think they are more concentrated and they last longer and to me they smell better or more pure, the scent is more pure. So I do prefer White Barn. I mean, Bath and Body ones are all right. But the ones with the white barn label, to me, they are like chef's case. <laughs> so this is what the um, the candle looks like. It's the three wick, and it's, it's I mean I'm not gonna lie, it's a pretty design. It's gold and red, you know. I guess you know, of course, a seasonal color. But what I'm interested in mostly is what it smells like. So I will pop the top. And immediately on a cold sniff, I am getting cinnamon, but not. I'm getting uh, cinnamon with nutmeg, like the smell of baking, but not quite baking. It's that. It's a it's a comforting scent. So it reminds me of when. You know there's family over and there's lots of baking going on and cooking and that that homely sense and I'm, I'm gonna have to say that this is this is actually good I, I like it yeah I like this this is nice so if it is that you you love you know <laughs> I can't stop spelling it if it is that you love cinnamon which I do I love the scent of cinnamon and you know nutmeg and those kinds of well, this is the candle for you. Um, see, wow, I'm looking at the scent profile and the fragrance notes. It says it has a rich red apple and the sweet cinnamon, grounded by cedar wood. So that is what I'm smelling. The cinnamon is the first note that jumps out at you. And it's not your regular, regular cinnamon. It's cinnamon and then it's, it's, it has a sweetness to it. So I figure that's where the apple comes in. But this is, this is good. This, 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 I would like this on, I would like this on a rainy day or a cold day when I'm home in my socks, with my chicken soup, watching my favorite show or just cuddling with a book. That's the vibe that this candle is giving. So this the season. Yeah. Yeah. The hype was worth it. So that's what it smells like on a cold sniff. Uh, Perhaps I can come back again and let you know what it smells like when it's, you know, lit. You know, is it lit when it's lit? <laughs> I'm so corny. <laughs> but yeah, 
Okay, man. So this is this is the tip the season. All right. So my second candle. This one, I must admit, I just saw it on the sale. This is the first time I'm seeing this one. Bobby Rose. And I just bought it because it's pretty. It's just pretty and it just looks feminine and pink and it's, it's just so pretty. And <clears throat> you know, oh yeah, maybe it sounds it sounds shallow, but that's really why I bought it. I have no idea what it smells like. But I just feel like it's gonna smell sweet and, and feminine and kind of floral so let's see if I'm right the design is very simple very simplistic it has a gold cap and it of course is another white bar hello I told you about we don't been through this so yeah man it's a white barn candle so next we see this is such a pretty scent it's a pretty scent that's all I can say it's pretty it smells like how the candle looks it's very feminine it's very sweet it's not overpowering there's a note that I can't quite place but this this for me you now a candle like this is for when I'm feeling all luxurious in the house you know with a glass of wine and I'm just chilling Laid back in my room. Yeah, this is this is a vibe that is giving me. Have your girlfriends come over, and you're just having a chat with your girlfriends, and you just light this candle. You know, just to, this is your girlfriend's candle. You know, so yeah, this is this is nice. Oh, and also a spa day. So if you're having your own little spa day and you wanna feel all bougie <laughs> on a budget, you know, this is this is a nice candle to give you that kind of vibe, and it's so pretty. I like things that are aesthetically pleasing and I'm telling you, this is it. Alright, this is it. This, this is pretty. So, let me tell you now, now that I've smelled it, and I told you what I'm smelling, which is sweet, kind of like a mandarin, tangerine, orange, mixed with floral. Let me tell you what the fragrance notes are. Hey, it says it has in cranberry juice, uh, pink sparkling rosé, and the blood orange with essential oils, natural essential oils. So I got I got one thing right. <laughs> I got one thing right, which was that orangey scent. And no two because I said it had a floral scent, which is the rosy, which is a rose. So it's like rose with orange. So I wasn't far off. No was no was a work, man. No was a work. So yeah, man, this candle, yeah, it's a win. It's a win. All right, so you guys also know that I'm big on aromatherapy. And so, of course, I'm gonna grab one from the aromatherapy line. And this one is the vanilla and the patchouli. And this one is actually from the Bath and Body line because for the aromatherapy, I haven't seen any white barn for this one as yet. So, I'm gonna grab it, cause you know, yeah. <laughs> so the vanilla and the patchouli, I, I took it because vanilla is a calming scent for me. I'm a vanilla girl. And patchouli is supposed to give feelings of calm and, and comfort and homeliness. And of course, with all of the craziness happening around, we need a little calm and comfort in our lives, right? And yes, I'll admit, I find the comfort in the camp. One of the places I find comfort. Okay, don't judge me. Don't judge me. So we're gonna have a sniff and see what this candle um, does it deliver. All right. Wow. Yeah, man. Yes. Let me tell you. It's gonna sound weird, but when I open it, the scent just traveled up my nostrils, and it's like I could taste the candle. Is that weird? I could taste it. And the first thing that hit me. Or it was the vanilla notes, the notes of vanilla, but it's grounded by something a little bit muskier, which I would presume is the patchouli, right? It's not a it's not a floral scent, and it's not overly sweet. It's just like it reminds me of snuggling in a sweater, or snuggling in a blanket, or a soft fleece, or a plushy cushion. Yeah, you guys, yeah, there's a thing. <laughs> with these candles but yeah this one and I, I'm getting
getting a whiff also of essential oil. This candle, this candle is a win. And what I like about it, I get the feeling that it's very layered based on what I'm smelling. So it's not a one note kind of, you know, uh, yeah, vanilla, and it was uh. It, the layers on cold sniffing, it seems to just unfold. The layers are complex. So it's, it's, it's not a boring scent. As much as it looks very simplistic in its design, and it's designed to make you feel comfort, it's not a boring candle. It has different layers of warmth and, and yeah, you want me to see my chest at once. So now that I've told you what I'm smelling, let me tell you what's in the fragrance notes. It has the in sweet vanilla, it has in patchouli, and Italian bergamot, which, yeah, I, I really should have placed it, bergamot. Um, that scent is very, it's kind of like vanilla, it's very comforting, but with a little bit more spiciness to it. So, but it's a warm kind of spicy scent. So that's the other layer of scent that I was picking up, along with cedar wood and essential oils. So this is not a little, a little fenke fenke, as we say in German, it's not a fenke fenke smelling candle. This candle, yeah, it has boom. So this candle, child, when rain or fall, mm, nighttime come or you're coming from a stressful day, it is, yeah? So try it. This is the vanilla and patchouli. So guys, my final candle. Have you guessed my favorite candle as yet? Or I should say one of us. I'm beginning to have a lot of favorites, but for now, this is my all-time favorite candle from Bath & Body. Any takers? Alright, well based on your comments below, my pussy up. Let's see if you were right. Cactus Blossom. That's my favorite scent in Bath & Body Works. Candles. And um, this one always delivers. For me, it has that right balance of floral, tropical, and fruity. With a little bit of warm layer in between, which I love. Because I'm not someone who loves a lot of floral scents. Um, the, the floral scent has to be particularly exotic and unique. Sorry, <laughs> exotic and unique for me to want to try it or want to gravitate towards it. You know, I, I don't like smelling like a funeral home with a You know, you know what I mean, man. Too much flowers. I don't like that. You know, but the cactus flower. This one is. Mm, 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 mm. And what I love is that they have kept the design consistent. No matter what, this has been the like the theme in Cactus Blossom. It's this uh it's this fuchsia-like pink, and it's very simplistic in its design, but very classy, which I love. And of course, hello, you know I had to get this one in a white barn um, line. I mean, but I'm about it one alright, you know, but I like a white barn. Like a white barn line of candles. So for this one, I'm gonna take a whiff. It has the natural essential oils, and of course, as you can see, it's actually a gold, it's a gold lid with pink and gold. Alright, so this one I don't even have to put it to my nostrils to smell it. I am smelling it as I open the lid. And it's just this happy feeling. I remember having this candle. This is like my fifth or sixth time buying this candle. And each time I light this candle, I always hear someone from outside on the road telling me how they smell. So, oh, some smells good, some smells good. Like, if, especially if it's guests coming to my home, they would be smelling it from outside of my living room. So this candle has an excellent throw, excellent, excellent. So it's not just when it's cold that you're able to smell it. Excellent throw. So this one, definitely worth your money and it burns right down. So you use up your wick completely, right? So this one, yeah man, it's, it is the perfect spring, summer candle. Right now we're still in kind of what you guys call winter, but we don't really have that in Jamaica like that. You know, we pretty much stay the same type of weather almost all year round, except for hurricane season. But, um, 
<laughs> this candle is perfect for persons who are welcoming spring it's perfect for summer it's perfect if you just clean your house your apartment and you just want to feel you know bougie and clean and just relax this this is an all round all right and i'm just saying this because i'm biased obviously <laughs> so this is definitely oh let me tell you the fragrance notes before i finish it has the citrus fresh sparkling citrus it has the cactus flower petals warm vanilla coconut and of course natural essential oils so it has in everything to keep you interested guys so these are my four candles from my haul for the 2022 semi-annual bath and body sale <laughs> so which candles are you guys planning to get which candles do you think i should try i mean me no sound of having a favorite so tell me which candles you think i should try in the comments below and guys don't forget to like this video if you love the content and you want more all right and of course there are more great bath and body reviews in my playlist so <laughs> i'll be putting it somewhere here so you can go ahead and look at my ratings and product reviews for these bath and body and other scented body fragrances all right and home fragrances so guys thank you for listening thank you for being with me and i'm gonna be going now so this is beauty and the budget saying ciao <laughs>